Today we're going to do a kuragami, which is a cut folded paper art. You're going to need pencil, scissors, paper, and glue. Go ahead and begin by folding your paper in half. And then in half again. So you want to have four sections to your paper. This is going to be very symmetrical. Now go ahead and take your pencil and from the middle fold, or there's two folds together, go ahead and start drawing a vertical line to a horizontal line and repeat this so that you end up with something that almost looks like steps going down your paper. You can use a ruler if you're nervous that you're not gonna make these straight. And you're gonna go all the way down but you're not going to go to the fold you're not going to touch the fold and you are not going to touch the bottom of your paper if you do your paper will fall apart all right we're going to do another row we're going to off that fold parallel to what we just drew, go ahead and draw another set of lines that go vertical and horizontal, looking like steps. This section is not gonna go down as far as the one we just did. It'll be much smaller. Again, do not touch your fold or go to the bottom of the paper. Let's go ahead and add one more. Again, this is going to not go as far. Okay, go ahead and take your scissors. You're going to cut the lines you just drew. Be careful not overcut. If you are able to use an X-Acto knife, X-Acto knives are a little bit more precise and easier sometimes to work with. I'm a little nervous about cutting myself, so I stick with my scissors. Again, be very careful not to cut the fold. Almost done with the cutting. Okay, now that you're done with your cutting, go ahead and very, very carefully unfold your paper. You might have to re-bend, refold to kind of get it to lay flat, to fold it opposite. It's already a very cool design. There you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take each section and we're going to fold them 
back and forth. So one will fold, if you're familiar with origami, one will fold valley. I just did a valley fold. And the next one's going to go mountain. So that folds up. The next one's going to fold in or under, like valley. So get yourself situated and begin folding mountain, valley, mountain, valley. And you're going to repeat this pattern over and over. And each time you do that, you change the dimension. You change the direction that each plane or surface faces. So go ahead and start from the bottom and start doing your mountain valley folds, your forward and your backwards, your up and your down. And this is your first one, so try not to be too perfectionist about it. This is a learning experience. And you have to decide here in the middle, which ones do you want up and which ones do you want back? I'm doing some mountain folds right now. Getting that dimension extra high here in the middle and fixing some of my other folds. There. I'm gonna start taking these and alternating them so that I have a valley fold. I just folded a valley fold here. And then I allow the middle one to be a mountain fold. And the two outside ones, I'm going to also pinch and make valley folds to really have that center stand out more. And I'm putting in an, a little fold at the top instead of in the middle. This will help push it down and kind of help it to uh, stay up a little bit better. Give it just a little bit more dimension from the back of the page, paper. It's a lot of folding. The cutting is really the, maybe the easy part. I like that. That looks good. I'm going to get another piece of paper and my glue. There's my glue. I'm going to lay it flat so I can put my glue on it. So I'm going to put glue along the top and the sides. And I'm going to put glue just right along the outside of my cut design. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place that on a piece of black paper. I'm 
going to press that down nice and flat so that the center is able to be lifted up, pressed out. So when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and fold it towards the bottom where I folded it earlier. Oh, I'm a little crooked. <laughs> Silly Mistovis. There we go. That's better. You can see that when I fold it, it pushes the design up and out a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and refold some of the things that got squished. And there is my kurigami. Not bad for a practice. I hope you enjoyed yours. There's all kinds of ideas you can find online. So thank you for creating with me today, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.